Hey, what's going on YouTube family and friends? This is Bear Brown. Thanks for coming to my garden channel today where I'm here helping you grow something tasty. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a garden irrigation system. That's right. All right, so I'm going to show you the parts. I'm going to show you the tools that you're going to need. And I'm also going to give you an example of a manifold system. I'm not using the manifold system, but I'm going to show you what that looks like because I'm going to take the hose and put it to every single PVC pipe when it's time for me to fertilize. So let's get right into it. All right, so you know you're gonna need your uh, PVC piping and you're gonna need a coupler if you need to connect two PVC pipes together. I'm gonna show you the coupler. You're gonna need an end cap. That's to make sure that all the water doesn't flow out. And you also are going to need the uh, connector. And this is a uh, female connector. And let me go ahead and show you the adapter that combines the two together all right this is the uh, connector the coupler so it joins the two PVCs together so we're gonna go ahead and go to the end and uh, put the adapter piece on so let's go and all you have to do is just slide it on at the end now if you notice I'm not using any primer because the water pressure is not gonna be so um, bad where it's gonna take these uh, off so you may want to check that because this is going to my drip irrigation system but if you put into your uh, sprinkler system you may want to try cutting the uh, the water on to make sure that you don't have to uh, glue this together but it shouldn't be a problem just don't turn it wide open if that is the case all right next all I'm gonna do is put this cap on and make sure all the water does not come out and that's a quick fix. So let's go ahead and start drilling. All right, so the plant is right here. All I'm gonna do is drill on the top right here. And the reason why I'm gonna drill on the top because once I finish drilling, I'm gonna turn this around and all of the water is gonna drip right down to the base of the plant so I don't wet the leaves. I'll show you that again. So the root is right beside the pipe. I'm gonna go on top right here. I'm gonna go up a little bit on the top. So once I work my way all the way down, all I'm gonna do is just turn this around and all the water is going, all the water is going to the root. I just turn that around like that. All the water is going down and it hits the roots. Don't wet the leaves. So I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that. And then I'll show you the uh, next thing. All right, now if you wanna use the uh, manifold system, this is my manifold for my actual rain barrel system. So if you wanna have all of them connected, all the pipes so they're getting water at the same time, you're gonna need these little T connectors and then you will splice into the PVC uh, pipes and that's how you will join them along one long system but you will have to get a t-post to connect every single one but you have to saw it together and then slide them in and like i said you don't need the uh primer and then the uh the cement if you're going to use the uh, rain barrel for sure because there's it won't be enough pressure to uh knock anything loose but you want to double check that if you're using your um, spricket. So I'm gonna bring you in close so you can see that. All right, so the T connectors, that is going to make the uh, PVC connectors in line with the uh, manifold. And this is coming from the barrel right here. So all the other PVC um, pipes that's going to your, going to your plants, you're gonna to need to connect them with a manifold. So you're gonna need a T-post for every uh, line that you have out, every row. So that's what you're gonna to have to do. Now, the way I'm gonna fertilize my garden is with this last barrel here. So what's gonna happen, I am gonna to go to the shed off valve and I'm gonna shed it off like that. So that shuts this barrel off from the rest of the uh, other five barrels. And when it's time for me to put my fertilizer in, I will put it in here since it's already uh, shut off now. 
and then I will open this up. Once I open this up, all the fertilizer will be going to my plants. So let's go ahead and see how the uh, drip system works. But that's how I'm going to be fertilizing. All right, so all I'm gonna do is screw this in. This should go in nice and easy. And I, I forgot to uh, mention about the uh, landscaping pins. You may want to use this to uh, lock it down or you can weight it down with a brick. And I'll try to find this so I can put it down in the description. But you should be able to go to a local hardware store. But if you're like me, I like to buy everything offline. For the most part, I will look and see if I can put it down in there for you. That just to lock the uh, system down in place so it doesn't roll away. It's gonna be kind of difficult with these wood chips. All right, so I'm gonna cut the water on. All right, that's getting right down to the uh, base of the plant without watering it, watering the actual leaves. So I got my watering system down in place. It's looking good and all I need to do is put the pins down to uh, lock my irrigation system in place but this is strictly for my uh, fertilizer all right so you see this is real simple to do if you want to use the manifold system you can it's even easier but I'm gonna be out here uh, working so every 10 minutes when I want to fertilize then I'll stop what I'm doing and then I'll switch the hose to make sure that I'm not giving it too much fertilizer. But this area is getting, as you can see, very, very crowded and I'm not gonna be able to get to the uh, plants by hand watering because I put these plants so close together. So that's why I decided last minute to do this and this is gonna help my plants, help my fruit and I may be able to get bigger size uh, melons because I won't be able to come in here and cut the vines. Uh, I'm still going to try. I'm still going to try, but this is uh, it's going to help me from breaking um, the vines and stepping on these melons. Now, I better get inside because the uh, we're going to be having rain all week, so I'm going to need to cut my sprinkler system off so I can save that water, but it's going to rain every day. but. Just let me know if this was helpful. So I'll see you next time. Take care and remember to grow something tasty. Let me get out of here before I get hit by lightning. Peace.